Hi everyone. Um, I'm a little bit nervous recording this video because uh, if you look back on my channel uh, for a while, uh, for a while, meaning I would say like a year and a half, uh, going on two years, I haven't truly really recorded many of um, the like vulnerable videos that I used to record a lot of. Um, I've recorded a few here and there, but it's been really hard um, ever since the birth of our daughter, our second child, to um, take uh, the camera or the phone, because I'm talking to my phone right now, and to record something um, really vulnerable and something that feels really authentic, where I'm being really honest about my life. Um, which is why I haven't been really doing many of these. Um, you know, I've been posting videos and I'm really happy, like I'm really pr proud of that actually, that I have been able to keep up my channel because I I started it uh, back in 2019, uh, either late, no wait, 2019, late 2019 or 2020. Um, it has been like four to five years already uh, where I've been sharing um, a lot of really personal stuff here about me, about my life, um, and, you know, a lot of our travels and all sorts of really fun things that we did, um, and also a lot of, like, emotional stuff that I've gone through, like, a lot of traumas and a lot of pain that I've gone through emotionally, and, um, but ever since our uh, second child was born, uh, things got so intense um and we've been through so much um i literally feel like um since we had our second uh second uh one that like that i've like internally um and outwardly too probably but internally like as if i've aged like um like a, like a lot like as if like like, as if I've lived a whole lifetime, because uh, we've been just through so much. And when you're going through all of that, um, you're just trying, like, it's been a lot of, like, just trying not to sink, uh, because of, you know, first of all, just the basics of watching, like, you know, taking care of a newborn and a toddler, or now two toddlers, now our daughter is one, our son is four, um, so it's just a lot of that, um, and I mean, my marriage, um, to my husband, Michael, has just, um, we always had, like, you know, ups and downs, and a lot of, you know, like, there's drama and everything, but ever since we had two kids, it, like, got to the point where, oh my goodness, we've been through so much in the past two years, I mean, how, so many times where we, you know, where we almost split up, um, where, um, it's, like, not enough for a short video, um, and aside from that, a lot of other, like, just, um, just challenges, like, overcoming a lot of things, we used to have, this was already, like, maybe, like, a year ago, like, where we, we used to have our house in Big Bear that we, because we, we lived in Big Bear for a while, right, um, and we ended up renting it out when we moved, when I became pregnant with our second child. And um, we rented it out and it ended up, there ended up being squatters who destroyed the whole house. And um, and that happened after our daughter was born. So we literally, we had a toddler and a newborn and a house where we had squatters in. And we had to still keep paying mortgage on it while those people were destroying it and refusing to move out and it's california so like there's a lot of like you can't just kick them out just that's just one example um of stuff going on and it never really fully ends um so it's funny because today when i decided okay i'm going to record this video like what am i going to talk about i want to share something from my life what am i going to know like in the morning it's like i don't really know exactly like there's a lot like you know i could talk about my childhood whatever my memories um, but, um, what will I talk about? And funnily enough, now I have, um, 
you know, I don't need to look for a topic because just earlier now I was going through mail and we get two pieces of mail. Okay, this was literally just like um, an hour ago, whatever. Uh, one piece of mail was... Um, so this is just to illustrate that challenges, they never, like they never end. There's always something that you need to navigate or, you know, whether it's marital conflict or something with your, something with your spouse, something with your kids, um, just something financially, like whatever, health-wise, whatever. So just an hour ago, I opened one piece of mail. I got a um, um, traffic infraction. Um I usually pride myself on being a good driver, like, you know, I drive our two kids, so I drive to be, you know, I drive a lot, but I try to be as safe and responsible as possible, uh, but um, I ran a red light, and I was caught on, like, on, on this camera for red light, so I have to, I was like, oh my gosh, I got scared, what do I need to do, I need to, like, supposedly, like, pay bail, and it's like, pay, I don't, I don't even know how much is it going to be, and then, it's going to affect my car insurance and my driver's license, right? So supposedly I may be able to do traffic school to avoid like those negative consequences um, for my um, driver's license like record because I, you know, I don't have anything on my record. I don't want to have anything bad on my record. You know, I, I take pride in being like an upstand citizen, you know? So that really like, that was disappointing that I did that, you know, that I... Um, around this red light and um, so but yeah but I'm like traffic school how am I gonna do that I'm already like so busy and so tired um, hopefully I can do it online and just wondering like how much am I gonna have to pay for this bail and it's just scary you know like bail like I was like oh my gosh like what is this it reminds me of like jail or prison you know so and I'm like you know because life is already like stressful and a lot is going on and just dealing with that and then uh, aside from that I open another letter and that one is from Huntington Beach Hospital and lo and behold we have a bill for almost $1,000 um, and basically uh, what happened was about a month or two months ago uh, Zen our older child our son he's four he had a nosebleed he has nosebleeds like you know all like quite often I used to get nosebleeds as a kid I remember it was like no specific reason but he just gets them um, and uh, we um, you know I mean like it's me and my husband we're taking care of our two kids my husband works we get so tired and so he got a nosebleed like literally in the middle of the night and so Michael I am so grateful like he got up to take care of him and he put like a piece of like a paper towel into his nose but I think because it was like literally maybe three or I don't know four a.m. I guess Michael must have been tired and he put too small of a piece and then maybe like shoved it more up or maybe Michael did and so it ended up going high up into his nose and so it was a, and then like our daughter is still sleeping, right? Our one year old, and so I'm like, Michael, like we cannot take it out. So he was trying to take it out of his nose, and it got stuck at the top of his nose. And so I was like, Michael, we have to go like to urgent care, emergency room, or something. So we had to take him there, and uh, we went to the emergency room, and they were to to remove this piece of like like a paper a paper towel stuck at the top of his nose because we we're like. I was like, this is scary. What if he goes into his brain or travels into his lungs? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but this sounded scary. So we went there. When we were there, they did not do anything. They literally were not able to do anything. Like the doctor on call at the emergency room, he he tried to like, he literally like started sticking some stick into Zen's nose. Zen started like freaking out, like literally from pain. I mean, like who wouldn't? And then I think the doctor literally shoved that piece higher up and he did not have any like like microscope or any like tool like to look inside so like he doesn't see it he's just shoving it higher up so that's where I was like like we need to leave this emergency room because they're gonna make it worse um and so we left and we ended up uh being lucky Michael was able to get us to see our ear nose 
knows your throat doctor or whatever and that lady she was so good she had all the tools she was able to numb he, to numb his nose like the emergency doctor he didn't even like numb his nose like just imagine having something sh like sharp or whatever being stuck up your nose nostril for a four-year-old so she numbed his nose she had the tool like the microscope to see what's inside she was able to take it out and finally she took out this bloody like paper towel out and oh my god i was so grateful that she was able to help us that day and uh but anyway and lo and behold like a month or a month and a half later i'm opening mail from huntington beach emergency room like i don't know from the hospital and they're like one thousand dollar bill for like for what and so i'm like you know i'm i will need to somehow like talk to them because we are um you know, we just, we truly just don't have the money to pay that, you know, from all the other expenses, you know, there's rent, there's food, there's everything, um, there's car repairs, I just had to, um, because our car, it's all, all over uh, 100,000 miles now, so, you know, it needs to, like, regularly be repaired, whatever, so I just paid for that, that was a lot of money, um, but you need a car, obviously, in Southern California, um, so yeah, just an update about my life, um, I think um, maybe the what I'm realizing that what I'm learning is that even though things will never get like fully where like oh like no no issues no problem nothing like but like I can build more of a resilience where I can handle these things I think like uh, in the past I would have totally decomposed like oh no like oh no I have a traffic violation I have to go to court and oh no I have an emergency room bill and this and that but like I guess the good thing about having gone through so much in the past two years um of my life and just in general I guess like you know just having been in different situations throughout my life um is that it kind of like builds your resilience or like like where I because I, I need to be able to stay calm and to stay focused to deal with all these things that come my way um you know because if I decompose if I just like fall apart that's not going to help me that's not going to help my family that's just going to make things worse um and to kind of like not let it ruin my day and my evening because I still want to work like do my like reach my own goals like work on my own things that I feel passionate about you know um so not to like let it take over my day because that's definitely something that in the past I would have like like just like let it ruin my whole day like I cannot let it derail me completely I need to take care of all these things and that is uh by the way not mentioning because it's kind of hard to believe but not mentioning another thing that happened to me which was literally like a few weeks ago I went to get a um, deep tissue massage, or at least I thought that's what I was going to get. And, you know, on and off, very rarely, really, really rarely, maybe like once every two months, I get to get like either a massage or like a pedicure or something for my feet or, you know, um, or some sort of like therapy, just like something for me, you know. Uh, and I um, got um, like assaulted, like literally like I got sexually assaulted uh, by the massage therapist um, and then later looking through his reviews on Yelp which I didn't think to do before I went there I looked through his Google reviews and they were great and then after it happened to me I looked through his Yelp reviews and he has done the same thing to at least three other women so he basically touched me inappropriately and he even like hurt me like cho choked me like by sitting on me and putting some sticks onto my back it was really crazy um, and so I ended up filing a police report against him for sexual battery. I don't know how much the police are doing. I haven't heard from the police department um, since then. But I think especially, you know, like, especially after finding out he had done this to other women. Because I was questioning myself. I was like, don't be an, like an asshole. Don't, like, leave him a negative review. Don't, you know, because I was like, I cannot, like, destroy his life, destroy his business. But then I, when I saw, when I finally, like, was like, wait, let me look up his reviews on Yelp. And I saw three other women, at least three other women had been assaulted by him in the same way, where he had, like, touched their breasts or choked them, which is what he did to me, um, and just been, like, pervy with them. I was like, 
wait, I'm not crazy. I am, because it's like, I am not crazy. Because I was having a hard time believing that this actually happened to me, you know, it, and but it, and it felt like such a backstab because I get, you know, life gets stressful. It's it's a lot, it's a lot. And so like going to a place like that, like massage or spa, like I go there for healing. I go there to like feel better, to get relief from my upper back pain, you know, just to feel rested and to get like sexually assaulted there and then choked there. Like, that's just like, what the heck? Uh, that is like a complete backstab. So especially seeing that he had done it to other women, I was like, I just could not like sleep peacefully without reporting him. Even though I was lucky, you know, God was watching over me, you know, Jesus was protecting me and helped me get out of there safely. But I just like, I just could not like, I, I felt like I had to do something. So I reported him to the California massage board board of massage therapist to California chiropractor board because he was also doing unlicensed chiropractor adjustments on me, which was insane. He performed an unlicensed breast examination on me, like, which was basically him like touching my breasts, like, like inappropriate, it was insane. Um, and I reported him to the police um, because I just, the, the reasoning just being simply like, it's hard to make sense of why it happened to me, but I figured if it did, I just need to do everything in my power to to stop him from doing this to other women because otherwise I won't have like clear conscience if I just like let it slide and um, that way it gives meaning to what it happened to me because I'm like okay like this happened to me but I can turn it into something like of light by like just shining light onto it and bringing attention onto it and hopefully like I don't know like as I said I don't know how much police are paying attention to it but the like the investigator from the California Massage Board um, therapist board where he has a certificate like a license she I actually she she staying very seriously I'm really grateful to her but that's another thing that happened to me like at law yeah but um yeah as I said I mean um not all is um not all is bad okay uh this is not the point of this video uh this is just an update uh that um I think just because of all of these things happening and different things happening and especially because, you know, for the longest time, me and Michael were just having um, a lot of conflict in our marriage, a lot of issues in our marriage. Um, as a lot of marriages suffer, you know, when you have a newborn or like two or a newborn or a toddler, you know, it's just so stressful that it was really hard to pick up a camera and to be honest about all of that and to really be able to talk about it somehow objectively when you're going through it so but yeah like this one lesson that i do want to share is just this lesson of trying like like first of all like seeking healing however you are able to and um also tr trying to um just yeah, like kind of like building like resilience like so you can like still um um so, you know so you can like get through life you know step by step get through everything walk through life you know do just just do your best and um calmly patiently you know just be an honest person take responsibility for your mistakes and and enjoy you know and uh, look for joy and uh, for healing and for peace and love